Hello everyone, Skids here and today we will be taking a look at top 10 Flow New Vegas mats that came out in January, February, March, April and May 2019. Before we begin, I made a few other videos not related to Fallout between last two top 10 episodes and it looks like YouTube is not recommending them that much, so I will post a link to the playlist in the description below. I would really appreciate if you could check them out. And now, without any further delays, let's begin. Today's first mod is called Functional Postgame Ending by Kazopert. In vanilla game, you are unable to continue playing once you finish main storyline and there were some mods that tried to change that by allowing you to play even after credits roll. All of these mods, however, send you to a world where no battle at Hoover Dam occurred yet, which feels a little bit weird. This mod changes that by making every decision you make during game matter and using it in post-ending Mojave. For the sake of this video, I used the saver NCR wins and took a tour around the world. In my ending, you could see NCR flags and meet soldiers everywhere, from Good Springs to Freeside. Kings were eradicated, followers left Mormon Fort, last legion patrols were being destroyed, and Brotherhood was now patrolling the roads and working with NCR, just like I saw in my ending slides. Any decisions I made during my playthrough that were shown in the ending were now represented in the world. There are also some changes to dialogue, for example, NCR soldiers no longer talk about Legion as a threat since they already defeated them. If you of course choose a different ending, you're gonna see different changes. With Legion, you can see them take over Strip, crucify NCR and so on. However, you also have to bear in mind that quests that are tied to factions will most likely fail and some companions disappear, so make sure you finish any necessary quest lines. Personally, I really enjoyed this mod. Seeing everything you accomplished affecting the world is rare in video games and makes you think twice before making any decisions. I didn't notice any bugs or conflicts either, every quest mod worked even after I finished the main game. Overall, a very interesting and unique mod that accomplishes something that I never thought I would see in New Vegas and I can only recommend it. Next up, we have Immersive Hit Reactions by Cory123. This mod tries to make combat a bit more interesting by making enemies react to your shots instead of just powering through them like nothing happened. Now when you shoot an enemy, he will stagger a bit giving you a chance to catch your breath or attack him even more. This can be very useful, especially against stronger enemies, they take a lot of bullets to kill. This way you can use some actual strategy in a fight. If you want, you can also make enemies fall to the ground if they get shot in the head, but that can be turned off, along with some other options in mod configuration menu. It works on humans, ghouls and super mutants. Now, since this makes enemies a bit easier to kill, it is recommended to up your difficulty or use damage modifiers, because if you combine this mod with other mods like life dismemberment, it becomes a bit too easy to dispose of enemies, with them constantly falling to the ground and reacting to your shots. But other than that, this mod is a nice expansion to an otherwise boring New Vegas combat that certainly deserves your attention. Alien Exterminator by Pineapple Surprise adds a brand new quest mod into the game. In the backyard of Cab McCarran, you can now find an organization that deals with aliens and you are their newest recruit. You're gonna be sent off on adventures where you need to kill aliens, destroy their warehouses, invade the mothership and even deal with an invasion of pre-war toys. This mod reminded me of Man in Black. It was wacky and fun at the same time. It also has some good characters that are fully voice acted. Quests themselves are pretty short, but there is a lot of combat here with less exploration and talking, but there is some of that mixed in as well. We can find some new alien weapons, get a brand new suit and talk to a vendor who will sell alien ammo and some accessories. It took me around 1 hour to complete 4 out of 6 quests available and due to time constraints I wasn't able to finish everything, but I did enjoy what I saw. I have to say that this mod has it all, humor, combat, interesting storyline and it works flawlessly. So if you want to kill some aliens as well, then this mod is exactly for you. Now let's take a look at retrievable throwables, quick throw and player head tracking, all made by Xelandro. These are small but neat mods that I think deserve a mention. Let's start with retrievable throwables. Just like its name says, you are now able to retrieve any knives, spears or hatchets you throw. Now they no longer disappear after a few seconds and unless you can't find them because you throw them way too far away, just like I did, you can get them back. This of course only works on non-explosive weapons, so don't try retrieving grenades. Anyway, you can get a bit creative as well. For example, create the ladder out of spears and get to otherwise unreachable spots. Or make a nice outline of poor NPCs with knives. Unless you of course accidentally hit them. Next mod, called Quick Throw, also has something to do with throwable weapons. You can use G button to throw your selected weapon instead of choosing them from inventory. A similar feature is already in Project Nevada, but this one is a bit enhanced. You can change your desired throwable by pressing H and by holding it, you can change categories from explosive to non-explosive weaponry. By holding R, you can cancel your throw and change its power by holding down G. 
When it comes to non-explosive weaponry, you will now throw them exactly where you aim, just like in any modern FPS game. And mod also comes with custom sounds and weapon icons. I also found this mod to be less awkward and faster than any other grenade mod from before. And last Xlandros mod for today is player head tracking. As you can see your character's head will now rotate toward the closest NPC. Head can move up, down or sideways. Now your character no longer looks like they are dead inside when talking to someone in third person. It uses custom skeleton, so if you want to use a mod that modifies it, you need to make your own patch for both mods to work. For example, our next mod does not work with it. It is called One Man's Army by C16 and it enables a second holster on your character. Now, there was a mod similar to this one called Armed to Teeth, but that one put holster on your character's back, which caused a lot of clipping issues. So now it is a bit lower and placed horizontally. It uses a pretty simple system. When you equip a different weapon, your last one will be placed on your back. So for example, if you have a pistol and then switch to shotgun, that pistol will be shown on your back. Mod works for almost every type of weapon, even melee ones, except for two-handed launchers, so no fat man on your back. And yes, it also works with any modded weapons. Thanks to holster's new placement, there are almost no clipping issues and everything worked well, except for the fact that you have to use either this mod or player head tracking, unless someone makes a patch for them. But other than that, a great mod that is gonna make a lot of wasteland photographers happy, and even if you're not one of them, you should still check it out. Next up we have Inventory Search by Stevie A, Pintocat, Gribble Schnibbit 8 and Justice Paris. This one goes to all my hoarders out there that are tired of searching for items in their gigantic stashes. Now you can use a search bar and find anything you need within seconds. All you have to do is click the magnifying glass icon, type what you want and it will show up. Unless it is not there and you need to take a look at the different stash. It works on all inventories, vendors, NPCs, containers and even on your own. So if you are at Gunrunners and want to buy a specific type of ammo or are looking for something in your inventory, all you need to do is use this search bar without scrolling through every other item first. This is one of those masks that you didn't know you needed until you had it and from now on I'm definitely going to keep it in my game. Moving on we have All Explosion Sounds Overhaul by Fallout Kit 20. This mod reworks every explosion sound you can find in game. Now Moater already did an amazing job reworking weapon sounds in his previous mod and this time he didn't disappoint either. First of all, in vanilla game, everything sounds very similar in terms of power. There should be a difference between using a dynamite and holy grenade, not only in damage, but in sound as well. With this mod, every explosive has its own distinct sound effect, corresponding with its power level. There are differences between ammunition types as well, so a 25mm grenade is gonna sound different than an incendiary one. Another important part is distance. If you are far away from explosion, it will not sound the same as grenade exploding under your legs and same applies to different directions. Mod also comes with custom sounds for equipping and throwing explosives that will once again be different depending on its type. Sound quality is also very good, but it is best to just hear them in action. So here is a quick example. Sound overhauls are rare on Nexus, so I'm glad someone decided to take them on and I have to say that Mata did a very good job and I hope that he will continue his work. A Wasteland in Bloom and Word's Improved Plants by Word add a bit of green life into Mojave. Let's start with Wasteland in Bloom. Now it is filled with grass, new plants and flowers you have never seen before, like shrubs, thistle and 15 more. These all look very nice, textures are crisp and models look realistic. If you want, you can modify the amount of new plants by going into your Fallout any file. It is also best to use this mod alongside Wasteland Flora Overhaul that was created by the same author. Some of the plants from there were reworked in this new version as well. When it comes to improved plants, well, you can find new textures for maize, banana plants and cactus in here, with more to come. Personally, I prefer my Mojave to be dead, but I have to admit that it looks pretty cool with this mod. So if you no longer enjoy empty wasteland full of dead plants and want to breathe some new life into it, then this mod is definitely for you. Next up we have New Vegas Stories by Nas of the Dark. This mod has 5 new quests into Mojave. You can find them in Nelson, Gomorrah, New Vegas Clinic, Strip and Jacobstown. They mainly consist of you talking to people and making decisions, so even if you are a low level character, you can enjoy them. Other than talking, there is also some action, but it is rare. I feel like that this is the type of quest mod that is perfect for a new playthrough, since these quests fit into New Vegas very well, they are lore friendly and involve both new and familiar characters. Like I mentioned before, choices play a huge part. For example, in New Vegas Clinic, you need to deal with the glowing ghoul that wants help, and you can either send him away, kill him or send him to another clinic, but only if you are a friend of followers 
or bring them supplies. All five quests have choices similar to this one and each leads to different outcome. So there is some replay value here and it took me around one hour to finish them all. Overall, a small but enjoyable quest mod that I recommend. And last but not least, we have Elysium AK by Tuxek. As you may have guessed, this is a new weapon that can be found in Good Spring School. Originally released for Fallout 4, it comes with custom textures and models. Both of them look great, textures are detailed, sharp, although they could use a few scratches here and there to make them fit into Wasteland a bit more. Model features tons of smaller and bigger details, I especially like the double tapped magazine, that one looks really cool. It also has its own sound effects and uses Asurax animations, so reloads and shooting look very good as well. It was effective in combat, I had no problem killing any enemies, but it wasn't too powerful, so you won't be unstoppable with it. All in all, a good looking, functional weapon mod that uses my favorite animations, so all I can say is that I liked it and you should definitely check it out. Yeah guys, I guess that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Now I know that there were tons of other mods that I didn't manage to feature, but you know, this uh, series is called top 10 mods so unfortunately there are some mods that didn't make the cut but uh, i will be posting a link to a few other mods in the description below that i thought deserve an attention but uh, like i said I didn't make it into the video i also should be a bit more active in the upcoming months it will all, of course all depend on my free time but i will try to post more than one video a month now i won't go into details in this video because as every year i'm going to be making an update video soon so you can all look forward to that and yeah guys i guess that's about it so i hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did tell me what you think about it in the comments subscribe for more fallout and other games content and i will see you next time